Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. I've got a uh, an IPA for you. It's an IPA from uh, Tintagel Brewery, who are a brewery I discovered on my recent honeymoon down in Cornwall. Um, I've only been back a couple of days, and I, I found the place whilst I was down there. I was uh, staying near Tintagel. Um, if you don't know Tintagel, Tintagel is kind of the the epicenter of the the legend and the mythology surrounding King Arthur and uh, Excalibur and Merlin and all that kind of stuff. Um, and Tintagel Brewery's beers all kind of have that theme. They're all named after the kind of Arthurian legend. Um, and this one is uh, IPA and it's called Uther Pendragon. Check out the artwork on that. That's lovely. Um, Uther Pendragon, of course, was uh, legend will tell us, is, was King Arthur's father. And, uh, yeah, supposedly King Arthur was conceived at uh, Tintagel Castle. And uh, King Arthur supposedly died in nearby Slaughterbridge, also in North Cornwall, just near near Tintagel. Um, so that's the kind of theme of their beers. I discovered the brewery whilst I was down there, and um, so I'm, I'm trying to crack it open. I'm desperate to get in it. Uh, anyway, it's a four and a half percent ABV IPA. This one. Um, it says a little bit about the brewery. Tintagel Brewery is an environmentally friendly brewery situated 850 feet above the sea at uh, Trebarwith Strand. Uh, brewing originally began in an old converted milking parlour on the farm. Now a range of classic real ales have been developed to suit every taste using a variety of hops and malts. All our ales are brewed with our own pure spring water and power from our wind turbines. Uh, a little bit about the beer. Uther Pendragon, our IPA is brewed with our own Cornish spring water, English barley malt spiked with malted wheat and three special American hops. As a fruity citrus aroma and a fresh bitter finish, ingredients, spring water, malted barley, wheat, hops and yeast. Uh, apparently this product does contain gluten. Um, so as I, say, I went into Tintagel Brewery whilst I was down there <clears throat> and they were fantastic and I basically bought everything they had. <laughs> I bought all their beers and when I was in there we found out that um, they had their own Wagyu beef in there as well. From the, the local... They do it. They do it on the farmland there. They have their own beef, and we bought some wagyu steaks and some burgers. And I can tell you now, they were spectacular. Um, they also did their own Cornish pasties, and the, the the beef that goes into them is wagyu beef. And again, they were incredible, absolutely incredible. And I was so impressed with the place. Like I said, I bought all the beer they had, and I even got myself a T-shirt. That's how impressed I was with the place. So this is this Pendragon IPA. I mean, that is as traditional an IPA as you're going to see. It's got that lovely kind of copper colour to it. It's developed a huge sort of two to three finger fluffy white head on it. Um, really little in the way of carbonation. That's crystal clear. I mean, that looks as clean as, as, clean as a whistle. Lovely looking IPA. Let's uh, give it a swirl. See if I'm getting an aroma through that big head, which is holding. It's getting an aroma. Oh, it's a lovely toffee malt aroma coming through. bit of citrus very subtle pine aroma coming through that as well it smells tasty considering it's got a massive head to get through it's got quite a nice smell to it but yeah definitely sort of toffee toffee malt bit of caramel There's certainly a piney citrusy aroma as well but uh, yeah, nothing in the way of carbonation. Really calm looking beer this. All their beers are kind of ale. <clears throat> Very calm, traditional English looking beers. But it does look good. It does look good. I'm going to get stuck in. Cheers, guys. That's very nice. That's very nice. I, I say it's clean as a whistle on the flavour. Really gentle carbonation. But it's got a lovely combination of malt and hoppy bitterness. Oh, so clean. Nice carbonation rush mid palate. And you're surrounded with caramel toffee malt flavour. 
And then on the end, you get a big citrus hoppy hit. That's a very good quality beer. Look at that lacing on the glass. Look at the head sticking to it. Good quality. Clean as a whistle. Lovely stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is a proper... Proper English IPA. But cleaner than most. <clears throat> really, really good stuff, this. Very nice. I picked up two of these because I do like my IPAs. Most of them are kind of golden ales and dark ales. I've got a stout. Going to be reviewing a few of these. Going to try and help these guys out because um, they're really doing a lovely... They've got a lovely setup down there. Again, that aroma, that combination of kind of caramel, toffee malt. Slight pininess, slight citrus aroma to it. Really quite inviting. Oh. Light, thin mouthfeel. Carbonation rush. Brings out the malt, brings out the caramel the toffee and then there's that citrus bitter hit at the back end and it hangs around for a little while as well it's got a nice finish to it that is a perfectly good English IPA and I'd say you'd uh, you'd be pressed to find a cleaner IPA that's a lovely mouthfeel Lovely mouthfeel, lovely use of the malts, lovely use of hops. Doesn't specify what hops have gone into it, unfortunately. <clears throat> but it's a citrusy hit. There's a bit of lemon lime on the end of it. Slightest bit of grapefruit. But it does give a nice bit of kick at the end. I like that. I like that. I could happily have uh, sat there and necked a few of these while I was watching the sea. they got a lovely sea view at the brewery as well. Yep, yeah, that's a perfectly smashable IPA from Tintagel Brewery. Um, yeah, check them out. Tintagelbrewery.co.uk. It's got their address on it, which is uh, Tintagel Brewery and Condolden Tintagel. And it's a four and a half percent ABV, 500 ml bottle. And this is their Uther Pendragon Cornish IPA. That's lovely. Really, really nice beer. Cracking start. I say I've got a few of these Tintagel beers to go through. That's a lovely start. Um, I've got no no complaints with that whatsoever. That's a proper old school British IPA, and it's really enjoyable. Um, I'm going to give that a solid eight out of ten. I think that deserves it. Eight out of ten for Tintagel's Uther Pendragon Cornish IPA. Eight out of ten. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Till my next one. You take care.